morning, folks. Wow, that was certainly a chilly night. I think it got down to probably minus one, minus two. Not usually cold, but yeah, it was pretty uncomfortable at times. So, Safi's finally dressed. She's shivering. Cause it's about one degree. Uh, she's having a dinner. So that's all good. Isn't that, babe? Yeah. Uh, most of the stuff is packed away. I've got coffee on the go. Um, I think sunrise is going to happen in the next 20 minutes. So hopefully the skies will clear, it'll warm up a bit as well. So yeah, what a challenge so far. So we've got coffee, got some more, more water boiling to put in the flask for later. Also why my bag is heavy and bulky. <laughs> So we're going to have this, coffee, bagels, uh, peanut butter and jam, although the jam seems to have leaked a little bit, which isn't ideal. Uh, and then we're going to pack the tent away and get moving that way. And then we'll have completed a circular of about 14.2 miles, might tag on a little bit more having had a look at the OS map, so that would be interesting. Right. Et voila, boiling water. We have toasted bagels. And in a moment, we will have peanut butter and jam on them. So I'd be interested to know from you guys and if you can add it in the comments what is your go-to breakfast for longer distance hikes so we are all packed away so have you been a good girl oh, yeah hey we have left no trace so we're gonna head off this way make our way somewhere over there all the way around to the other side of the lake and then a little bit further to the right behind that mountain and then that's where the car is let's get cracking So we are about half a mile in. We've come from over there, all the way over that little hill, all the way down by the little house, the archeological trail, and then pretty easy little track road. For once on this hike, Safi is now in front. So that's pretty nice. So yeah. I think the sun should be coming out at about 10 o'clock. It's still about two degrees. <sighs> Didn't get much sleep as a result. Don't look too great, but hey ho. Let's keep moving and see what today brings. We are taking a detour after all could have <laughs> just come across that bit but no I decided no we're not going to do what I thought we would and now we will so we're gonna go across all this I think up there is a trig so we're going to try and get to that and then take the path through the woods back to the main track and then back to the car in a couple of hours We have just crossed from that gap in the trees there 
There's a little sneaky little gate. Must have been an old path because that definitely wasn't a path coming through wading through all that grass. I should have known really that it'd get to knee high boggy conditions. So we're still heading towards that way. Ooh. When I say knee height, <laughs> it's knee height. trees. And there's the tree over there. There is no path. And we will have to find a way back that way and then down into the forest. Sorry. Are you okay? Oh. Good girl, aren't you? Okay. Ooh. Well, I thought the trig at Langosland was pretty damn challenging. We've been on the go. I'll check the timing and I'll put it on the bottom. But we're finally there. Poor little Safi. Having to jump hurdles. But some amazing views. Okay. Come on. Good girl. So, <laughs> we've been all the way up there, tried to get out up there, tried to get down out of this field out down there, just literally can't get out of this field. The barbed wire is that, because I didn't want to go back over all the heather and the boggy bits that we took to try and get to the trig. I thought there's got to be a better way down here with the field. But it's like locked tight. <laughs> and even if you did get over there, look at it. So, I think I've added about another four miles onto this walk. Hopefully we can get out in a second. So without having done anything wrong, she's been on the lead. We've walked all the way around this field and we've managed to get the sheep from that field going all into one field over there. And that one, bless it, it's got a poorly foot. It's getting left behind. Oh. Right, I can see a road here, so <sighs> panic over. I guess this is a learning, try not to panic. I do panic, especially when I'm out on my own. No sign of the farm yet, which is lucky because I shouldn't really be in a farmer's field. These things are huge. Yippee! So we are 4.7 miles in. Been a bit of a slog so far. So we are heading towards the main path that we came off what must be about two hours ago when we headed up the moorland kind of heather, bog, uh, grass reeds, etc. Uh, this bit actually, okay. this is really pretty. Uh, we did have an option to go over the field that way and we've got a couple of different options coming up. So I haven't quite made my mind up which way back we're going to go. But yeah, um, nice day. 
It's still really chilly, but the sun's out, so that's good. Um, yeah, Sophie's not on a lead, so she's all happy. We can finally see the reservoir, and we've got a couple of options. So the question is, do we carry on, and walk across the reservoir, or do we go? going to do something new and we're going to do the dam trail whatever that is so looks like we're headed this way and unfortunately Saturday has to stay on her lead we are now just over six miles in I have no idea where the sign went for the dam trail but we're definitely not on it now. So that detour didn't go to plan. Just seen another footpath sign there. No chance I'm crossing another field like we did earlier. Basically with tufts. It looks really boggy. So we're gonna carry on heading up this road, which is a little bit out of the way. And then we'll turn right. And that road takes us to the entrance of Halwyn Reservoir. So, headed the right direction. You can see, right in the background where we've been, just up there, you can see the wind turbines. Ah, oh, be nice to get back to the car for a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. First little sign for ages. No, it's not a dumb trail. <laughs> so this is the last key landmark before we head across the road into the forest and then back to the car. We've got a little audience. You can see the wind turbines over there. Those wind turbines over there are the ones that we got stuck in the field for. Actually, it might be those ones you can just see the chips. My watch says six miles, 64. So half a mile to the car park, and just about see the tower through the trees. Maybe we're not on camera. But the car's that side over there. 7.25 miles this morning, done so far. Here we are. Back at the beginning. So that was 21,256 steps, about seven and a half miles. Pretty challenging since it's only 12.53. So didn't really have any stops on the way around. Uh, yeah, very nice day. So might get back, sort some stuff out, have some food and then head out again. Overall, very good trail. <laughs>